Okay, I just got done switching the stones. Get a little close up here, see if you can see what the bores look like. Relatively rough finish in there. That's blown up as far as it'll go. I'll go ahead and leave it on the real blow up so you can see what I'm doing real close. We're going from a probably a 220 grit stone up to like a 500 grit stone. So I'm bypassing a, a stone or so. I don't want to take any more metal I have to. I just want to get the finish better. The racing you want to get as fine as you can within reason. Grit test. It's a lot better. Alright. Switch you over the other side. Finish these up. If you're not bored enough yet, we'll make you more bored yet. Pull back a little bit to see more what I'm doing. Checking where the pins are in their stitches. You don't really feel too much of a lip anymore, so it's roundable. Rings aren't going to grab a hold of it now. Stone breaks in, and the cylinder wears in too. Right. Nice and messy around here. Thank you. 
others. Alright. Now we see what we really got. The block's got a little heat in it, so it expands up a little bit. But probably no more than about half a pedal on this motor, I bet. Alright, that's about three. That's the number on the mic. Six. Six and a half. So we got three and a half down out on that one. We were like seven or eight. So. And at the bottom down there. A lot of taper. You can hear the hone there was tight at the bottom. Showing it. Three, same up here. Maybe one side, 90 degrees, about the same. So we're three at the bottom, both ways, right here, and then this way here we go up to six and a half. So that's the warpage in the block. Okay, now our bad block over here, we were up around five, as I recall. Five and a quarter, tighter right there. Four. Yeah, we're down to three or so. Three and a quarter. So it's two thousand around. That was halfway down. Now you get up here where the bad area is. I purposely put taper in here so we can clean the top up. So we're about four and a quarter in our bad spot. We'll go over five. Five and a half, three quarter that way. And then at the very bottom, put this on three, see what we got here. Yeah, three and a quarter. Three and a quarter that way. Three and a quarter that way. So it's three and a quarter on the bottom. All right. So that's another couple thou out. So these two are two thou. So we're getting them. This one here, we are. It's our tightest hole right here. Two and a half, two and three quarter right here. About two and a half. That way, and we're a little bigger. Three quarters or a quarter thou that direction. Now, up here where the other round is, four and a quarter. Hole or two, but this is uh, a thou smaller. This one's a little tighter yet. This is going to be, this was the best uh, hole.
two, two this way, two and a quarter that way. Bottom, you know, quarter thou out down to the bottom. So this is two, two and a half. So this is a couple thou tighter than this, and each this is thou tighter than these two. So overall, a little bit better it was. So, grab the camera, and I'll show you what the bars look like. Try not to get too much goo on my camera. All right, let's see. I'm going to pull out some focus so you can see. So there is our bad spot right here. You can see how I don't really grab it with my thumb very much. My light stay on. So this is still our bad spot here. We're loose, but at least now the rings will go up into here and go back down and not shatter as it goes across it. And you can see the finish in there is starting to get a little bit of a fine finish to it. Starting to look a little glossy. You can see the reflection there at the bottom a little bit. If you had a real fine finish, you would be able to see the camera in the reflection. That's how I normally do my race bikes. But this is an older motor, so we make it a little bit better. So this is still pretty damn fine for one of these motors. A lot finer than most people run. But anyway, that's how you do the block. So now you do a lot of cleaning, get all this cleaned out, get all the oil out of it, and get the grit out of it. So anyway, that's how you get these things fixed. This one here is ready to go back to the owner and let him clean it all up and assemble it up the rest of the way. So we're done with this for now, unless we get some more video maybe together. So there's a wrap for now.